Hey everybody, ECAP here. This video is a tutorial or a guide on how to simulate your character and how to use that information that you're given. So uh, I use Simulation Craft. I think there are other ones as well that you can use. Uh, this one is just easy to use and the one that I learned to use. So uh, this is what I use. Uh, there are other videos out on how to do this. I'm going to try to make mine uh, basic and easy for new players and hopefully make it less intimidating for players that don't know what they're doing. So uh, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download two things to get the full use out of this. So first you need to go to simulationcraft.org. So it's simulation, craft, I mean everything is how it sounds. Then you're going to go to downloads at the top. So from the downloads, you're going to choose your installer. So you have 64-bit, 32-bit, or the Mac installer. And then you're just going to install it like you would anything else. And after you install it, you will... Uh, get a welcome page like this and that's what it should look like um, i'll go over really quick the other thing you're going to need to install which is called pawn this is just an add-on for the game so uh at, on curse or mods.curse.com you can go and search for pawn p-a-w-n and you download this and if you are new to add-ons or don't know how to use add-ons just in case what you're going to do is at least on windows uh make sure you have it say show files when done uh, downloading and it'll, you'll have an option that says extract all so you're uh, at least on windows and you're going to extract all and then you're going to choose the directory or the folder that you're going to be putting this into so you want to go to your most likely your c drive program files uh, world of warcraft and interface add-ons so you want to put it into the add-ons fol folder so you can just double click the add-ons and extract all into there and that'll put uh, that'll just have it load automatically when you load in. This is important because this is this is what lets you uh, even like a lower end player kind of uh, learn what their stat weights are and what kind of gear they should be putting on. So uh, we'll get there is one other add on. There's an add on for Simulation Craft, and uh, you can download that for Curse as well. I don't know the name of it because I don't use it. Basically, uh, Simulation Craft works when you log off your character. However, uh, your armor is updated. However, you can get the code from your current stuff without logging off, and you can use the add-on to do that. So that's not necessary by any means, so I didn't include it, but I did think I would mention it just in case anyone thinks that having to log off their character is like a little bit too annoying. So uh, once you have Simulation Craft, uh, the first thing you have to do is go to, well, let's go to Options first. So in options, you're going to want to do buffs and debuffs, globals, and scaling. So it'll, it should start in global, so we'll just do this first. Now, this is all up to you. Everything's pretty straightforward in here, and I'll kind of just tell you what I'm doing, and I'll kind of tell you what the, so the standard is. So obviously your region, for me it's US, army spec active, version live, target error not available, iterations, this is your choice. Um, it's just basically how long it's going to take to simulate. It's how many fights you're simulating. So I have mine on 25,000. The more you do, the more accurate it's going to be. But after a certain point, it's really going to be pretty much just giving you the same number because it's pretty accurate. Um, length of the fight, it's going to start at 300 seconds. Um, so that should be what, like five minutes or something. Uh, so uh, I have mine on 500 seconds because a lot of the fights are longer in Nighthold. Just kind of kind of give me a little bit of a, a more accurate result a very vari variance length you can change that down it's at 20 i think by default i'll probably change that down a little bit because uh, that's 100 seconds so 400 to 600 seconds uh it's quite a big difference so you can change that down if you want fight style the the general thing people use is patchwork i have mine on light movement because most fights are at least light movement uh, there are some fights where you don't have to move i guess but uh, most fights are light movement Player skills on elite, uh, that doesn't mean I'm an elite player necessarily, it just means that I kind of am going to be, I want to be an elite player, but if you aren't the very good, you can kind of change that to like, ouch, fire is hot, let's say, let's say you die a lot because you're not very good, you can change it to that. Um, no, that's important, you can change the number of enemies, um, and you can even change what your world lag is on average. I could probably, uh, mine somewhere in the middle of that, medium is probably close, but uh, mine somewhere it's probably close to low as well, but that's just very slight, very, very slight difference there. So buffs, debuffs, debuffs don't really matter unless you have a, a ability where you take, uh, uh, where you get extra damage 
when you take damage, which I don't think anyone has anything like that. That doesn't really matter. Those are just automatically clicked on. But you do want to uh, click on your buffs, which is I toggle all buffs and bloodlust. That's just assuming that you have every buff available to you, food buff, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, what are they called? The runes, augmentation runes, uh, food buffs, everything, flask, and everything like that on you. So, uh, and then blood blaster heroism as well. Now, scaling is most important because that's what you're going to use for the pawn. So, you're going to enable scaling, and then you can toggle all stats. That's not really necessary. I just have on the ones that I need. So, let's crit, haste, mastery, verse, and then I also simulate my strength. I have intellect checked just as well, just because. It doesn't affect my rep paladin at all for scaling intellect, but it does affect uh, my uh, mage, obviously. So you can actually have both checked, and it doesn't matter. And I'm assuming you can also have agility checked as well, and it doesn't matter either. So what that's going to do then, and we'll kind of show you here. So you're going to go to import now. So your options are set. You go to import, type in your character's name on your server, and then you click import. So it's going to import down at the bottom here, importing me. Okay, so you import it, and uh, so you see I imported myself a lot recently, so you're going to have all your stuff here, then you just click on simulate, and all that's going to take a little while, so I'm not going to actually do that part of it. So you just click on simulate down there, I'm actually going to close out of a few of these, I need to close out of all of them, but uh, once it's done simulating, then you'll get your results. So these are my uh, last results that I had from doing it, and at the top it'll tell you what your DPS should be under the conditions given. It's going to tell you what your talents were, what your artifact was, etc. And then it's going to show you your scaling. That's what we did the scaling for. So this is you're going to need this information. So you're actually going to highlight from the start of the parenthesis to the end of it. And you're going to control C or right click copy. And uh, you're going to need that for in game. It's also going to go through and tell you your sources of damage. And you can get into all that as much as you want. And you can kind of compare it uh, with other people if you wanted to, to see maybe you're using a move a little bit too much. For Rep Paladins, for example, I think I use my judgment a little bit too much. Uh, I, I don't follow my own rules sometimes, and I use my judgment a little bit too much. So uh, I won't get all into all of this, but you can use this however you like and however you see fit. So now you have what your DPS should be. So that's kind of the main thing. So given the, uh, if it's a single target fight, with very light movement, and I'm fully buffed with both potions, use both potions available to me pre pot and during fight. I should be doing about 535,000 DPS, which is pretty close to what I'm doing, uh, probably within 10,000 or so. So it's, it's pretty accurate. And granted, I haven't had like a 99 parse or anything, but it, that's pretty accurate. So you're going to go into your game now. And so when you log in, once you download that add on and install and uh, extract it, uh, when you go to your character screen here, uh, you're going to click on Pawn, and this screen's going to come up. And this is to compare items, so you can compare two items in your inventory, or one that you're wearing with one in your inventory. What you want to go to is go to Scale. Now it's going to, by default, have your, uh, it's going to say, like, PvE, uh, let's say you're a Mage, PvP, Mage, Fire, PvP, or PvE, Mage, Arcane, whatever. It can have all, it's going to have whatever uh, your generic things are in there. So you're going to click on those and then unclick show the scale and tooltips to get rid of that. It's just kind of annoying to me to have that on. So this is the one, it's going to have your character's name and you want to make sure that's clicked on show the skill and tooltips. And what uh, you're, you're going, well, I guess it would help first if you import it. So you're going to import, uh, so you're going to control V what you copied from Simulation Craft. So uh, this pawn string, Parenthesis to parenthesis, control V, hit OK, and it, then it's going to have your name up there, uh, whatever your character's name is. This is going to give you your stat weights, so strength, crit, haste, mastery, verse, and then that'll that'll work for your comparisons as well. It'll also tell you which gems to use uh, for an example as well, based upon your stat weights. The other thing this add-on does is that in your bags, it's going to have a little green arrow if what you're wearing is an upgrade based on your stat weights. So you see I have a lot of upgrades. However, that would cause me to lose my set bonuses, uh, or at least one of them. And that actually causes me more of a DPS loss than what the actual piece of gear gives me. So that's why I have upgrades in my bags that I'm not wearing. So I'm really hoping to get uh, the helmet, for example, uh, maybe next week. So uh, 
I think that's about it. Uh, so you, now you have you can get your upgrades. You know what your stat weights are, and you know what DPS you should be doing. Hopefully, it's straightforward. Um, like I said, anyone can do it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Please thumbs up and sub. It helps me out a lot. And everyone, have a good one.